Hey, Christ plays people. You know what we're all about. Discipling one another to, to reach, reach and raise, raise the and next generation to live out God's, God's truth. God's truth. Man, I tell you what, this past Sunday was an amazing Sunday. Yeah, it, was. it was what we call Promotion Sunday, but this one was extremely significant because we brought groups back on campus. We had programming for all of our kids, and guess what? God blessed it in such a huge way. We baptized, these two guys yeah. baptized three, three new people, yeah. believers in Christ, and it was so awesome to see. If you missed the service, you can go back and watch it on one of our social media platforms, and we encourage you to do so. But let me tell you what else happened this past Sunday. We had six brand new families get plugged into a small group just wow. this past Sunday alone. They reached out to me at groups at ChristPlace.com last week, and they said, hey, help me find a group. And I did, and they showed up, and they loved it, and I followed up with them this week, and guess what? They're coming back this Sunday again. So guess what? God is moving. We are seeing God do amazing things in our church, and especially in our group's ministry as well. Um, and so many of our groups are even doing what is called a hybrid group, and I've been really encouraging all of you to do this. So listen, if you're sitting at home and you're still doing Zoom groups, it's totally fine to do so. Way to go. But if some of you want to come back and some of you still want to stay at home, totally fine. I can get you set up on a hybrid group, and I want to help you do that. So reach out to me, groups at ChristPlace.com, and I'll help you be able to do that. Rick, hey, what another cool on, thing man? that I was thinking about that I, I bet they'll want to know is um, not only did people come back to church, I mean, I was blown away by the attendance. Yeah. People were wearing masks, we socially distanced, and did the best we could with all of that, but uh, people wanted to be at church. But something else that's been a side effect of all of this coronavirus, COVID, is that really a whole other congregation has been birthed online. Mm -hmm. And so while a bunch of people came back to church and the church felt really exciting and busy Sunday, our online audience didn't drop off. It actually grew. And so there's a whole other congregation now that every week, maybe they're all around the country, is connecting with us online. So that's really cool. Yeah, that's really awesome. I'm glad you highlighted that. So hey, guess what? We have something exciting starting this Sunday, and this guy is one of the yeah. intricate parts of why this thing is happening. So Rick, what is happening this Sunday? Yeah, I don't know if y'all want it, but a little backstory. Um, our church is is trying to do all we can to help men be better men. Now, we want women to be better women as well, but we know that God has called the men to lead the family and that men have been in trouble. Masculinity has been in trouble. And Andrew and I, man, we have been praying and talking about this for really over a year about some just basic biblical pathways. How do we help men be better men? How do we help women be better women? How do we, how do we embrace the godly nature of what God has called us to be according to the scripture? And so this Sunday, we are starting a brand new discipleship pathway for men and women. Uh, the men's group's called Men of Worth, and we're going to be hitting for a whole year just basic foundational issues of who am I in Christ? How do I have a, a marriage that honors God? How can I be the kind of dad I need to be? You know, just all those very basic questions of life and and uh, what does God want me to do? And the ladies are going to be doing the same thing in the ladies group. So this Sunday, it starts at 9 o'clock. The men are meeting in the chapel. The ladies are meeting on the third floor in building. What's the name of that building? That's the chapel building. The chapel building. Adult and so we'll help you find it. If you come around 9, it's going to be a great time. We'll have some donuts. We'll have some refreshments just for that first day. But it's also appropriate for men if you want to bring your teenage boy and do this with your teenage boy. It would be a great thing to do together. It's going to be high accountability. We got some great leaders helping us lead this. So I am pumped about that this Sunday. It's going to be awesome, man. I already know a ton of dads and sons that are going to go through this. And I tell you, their their home is going to be radically changed. I really believe That's that. That's what we're praying for. Absolutely. So hey, listen, uh, historically, we have had Wednesday nights that would start back up right around the same time as well. And our students are coming back to a regular weekly service starting this Wednesday night. So today, uh, but our adult groups and our wanna are not going to come back just yet. So we are praying about when we bring those back, how we do that, what it looks like. So stay tuned. We're going to help you when we get there. Uh, just continue to pray for us for this season and that we will just do it the way that God wants us to. Yeah, a couple announcements coming up. Um, it, one big thing that we are just pumped about is... Uh, baptism Day, baptism. September 27th. So let's see here. We're a little over a month away. We already have bad, baptism scheduled for both services. So if you know someone, maybe they don't have a relationship with Jesus, great time to share Jesus. If you know someone in your family that maybe they need to be baptized, they've never taken that step. This day is going to be so awesome because we are going to celebrate the life 
the death, the burial, the resurrection of Jesus Christ. And we're going to celebrate new life in new believers. And man, I'm just pumped about that. It's going to be awesome. And hey, listen, your place starting August 23rd and August 30th. It's our two-week uh, class to where you can get plugged in, get more to know about the church. And so we want to be able to help you take those next steps as well. So if you know of somebody that is in your group that has never been through your place, tell them to reach out to us. Do it. Yep. Man, we love you guys. Can't we, wait to see We you. love Christ's place. Yeah, we do. Can't wait to see you.